When you are waiting upon the Lord, do not go weary. Do not go tired. I know that it is not easy. I remember those days while I was still waiting upon the Lord. Things became tougher. I will look at myself. Why does God not like me? Is it that I'm the biggest sinner on earth? Look at this woman. Look at this man. This man is a troublesome person. This woman lies trouble, but yet she is blessed. She has money. Even when she is greedy, God, what have I done? At that point, I always felt, I always felt God was unjust. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> But this is actually a testimony. There is a way some problem will hook you up. You will start doubting God. At times, you will be angry with God. It happens. God actually forgives such things because he knows that we are humans. You are under pressure. I was praying and praying, going to church, praying. I did all I could. Fasting, all of that. But yet, nothing was working. I was still at the same spot. When I go online, I see my friends, my classmates, those we graduated from the same university. They have big business. They are advertising online. They are not doing well for themselves. At times, I get so ashamed to get to Instagram, Instagram or even Facebook. Because most of my classmates, they were there. When I see the achievement, I feel intimidated. I feel jealous. I feel that the Lord does not like me. When I'm sleeping, I'm crying. God, in my department, I graduated with 2-1. I was among the best students because I read. What did I do wrong? No job. No money. Nothing, nothing. All I do is to beg and borrow from relations. And at times, when I call them, they ignore my call because they know that I'm going to beg for money. There are many guests in school then. They were living a wayward life. Prostitute. But look at them now. Look at them now. They are married to rich men. They are still in money. Me that I was quiet and gentle, Christian mother, broke, penniless. At a point, I stopped going to church. But because my mom would always force me, if you live with us, my mother will never allow you to stay at home on Sunday. She will drag you out. So at times, I go to church reluctantly. In church, when others are sharing their testimony, I would be jealous. I would be angry. God, why me? Why can't you help me? Is it that my sins are too much? When you are waiting, at times, the devil will start pushing you to question God, to blame God. It is very bad, but I was guilty of it. I was guilty of it. When you start praying in Jesus' name, Amen, Amen, mm, Amen, mm. in my mind, mm, what have I not prayed? What have I not prayed? I gave up. I gave up. I thought God would not answer me. I thought God does not even know that I exist, that Henrietta exists. It was that bad. I'm sharing this because I want to give hope to people in similar situation. Whatever you are going through, no matter how difficult that thing is, don't always feel that God does not like you. Like I felt, God likes me. Just that, it is now I know that God was planning out my miracle. God was planning out my victory. To have money was a problem. As a graduate, I still depended on my mother. My mother who was actually a widow. 
who is, not was, to give me money. Nothing, nothing. No job. With my good result. 2 1. <laughs> Things were tight. I thought that God would never remember me. He would never remember me. Now I know that God takes time to work on your miracle. And when God decides to change your life, He does this marvelously. When you are looking for one, He gives you million. You that you have not counted 200,000, you will count, you will count 200 million. You will swim in millions. That is the power of God. The reason why God takes his time is to work on you so that you will be able to manage that money, that blessing. Maybe you are looking for a child. God will take his time to build you, to mold your character so that you will be more patient enough to take care of children. I know you will tell me what about some women who are very harsh with children. See, we all have different destiny. So focus on yourself. So whatever you are waiting upon the Lord for, know that he is working on it. I know it is not easy. It is tiring. It is exhausting. I was once there. When you are praying, when you wake up, no sign of changes. When it is time for prayer, you get so angry. You get so tired. My mother will be forcing me. Henrietta, pray. Henrietta, pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At times, I sleep off because I was tired. But there were times I was praying. I was hot in prayer. But after praying and praying and doing all what I knew how to do, nothing is working. I got tired. Whenever I see people praising God in my mind, mm -hmm, He chooses the people to help. Not knowing that when God decides to bless you, you will forget your painful time. Child of God, I pray for you. In that your problem, in whatever you are looking for, when God will bless you, ah, you will share tears. That thing will be so big that, that thing will be so great that you will have to cry a tears of joy. In the name of Jesus, God will give you triple of what you are asking for. God will shock you. Child of God, whatever you are waiting upon the Lord for, you will get it soon in the name of Jesus. I say you will get it soon. Don't give up on God. Whenever you are about to give up, that is when your testimony is closed. The only luck I had was that I have a strong mother who is strong in her faith. If not for my mother, I would have backslided. I would have left Christianity far back. But she kept on pushing me. Kept on pushing. Are you angry with God? Do you know what he is planning for you? I know you will be great. She kept on encouraging me. And that was why I did not totally go to other means. Because at a point, I was tired. I was desperate. In fact, I was thinking of doing other things. Seeking solution elsewhere. But my mother held me down. If I had done that, I would have lost everything. Because only a few months, few months later, I saw my doors opening. When God decided to change my life, he changed everything about my life. Everything. Financially. Everything about my life. Not just money alone. Marital wise. And all other things I can't just mention. So I'm talking to someone today. Maybe you are about to give up. Maybe you feel that God does not like you. Maybe you feel that you are wasting your time. My dear... 
all of this prayer you are praying you are not wasting your time you are not so in that your situation in that your situation in that your problem God will bring light in the name of Jesus whatever you are going through God will come to your aid God will open your doors in the name of Jesus so this is what you do when you are waiting upon the Lord continue praying and thanking God Oh Lord I thank you for the miracle that is about to happen Oh Lord I thank you for answering my prayers Oh Lord I give you all the praises praises and prayer is the only way out do not give up because your miracle will come don't think you will remain like this forever you will not things will change everything will start working for you in the name of Jesus don't give up so let's look at Galatians 6 verse 9 Galatians 6 verse 9 and let us not grow weary of doing good things for in due season we will reap if we do not give up so that good thing you are doing do not get tired because God has not given you your heart desire then I told you I used to fast a lot at a point I gave up there are some people they always assist people in need they go to orphanage they always pray praying is a good thing helping the poor is a good thing helping people is good fasting is good do not stop all of these good things because you will so reap your reward if you do not give up and if you give up all of those things you have done will be wasted if not for my mother who kept on pushing me I don't think I would have been here today but everybody does not have that luck all of these good things you are doing you pray you thank the Lord you fast you help people you are better than you sow seed do not give up you worship God do not give up because you will reap your reward if you do not give up now that you are about to give up you don't know if your miracle is closed and if you decide to give up when your breakthrough is closed that means you have wasted all your effort may that not be your portion in the name of Jesus so have faith keep on praying keep on doing all the good things you are doing keep on fasting keep on helping people keep on believing in God you will soon testify thank you for watching please subscribe if you have not and make sure the bell is turned on give this video a thumbs up I will see you again